Hello, psyched goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of this video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. Do you ever think about why you're more inclined to attract or be attracted to certain types of people? Or why the people you've dated in the past weren't as compatible with you as you thought? Love involves constant choice, commitment, and work, which all demand an intuitive understanding both of your partner and of yourself. One useful piece of information is learning about you and your partner's attachment styles. The intent of learning about attachment styles isn't to box love up neatly into categories, nor does it mean you're stuck with one attachment style forever. In fact, it's important to note that as time goes on, your attachment style can change from the way you evolve as a lover. If things have become fragile between you and your partner, realize that this is your chance to grow. Here are the four attachment styles in love. Number one, secure. When you have a secure attachment style, you have a great advantage in love. You feel comfortable going to your partner when something is off and in return, you allow your partner absolute freedom. People with a secure attachment style tend to have honest, open and equal relationships where both partners can thrive and grow together at a healthy pace. They understand how to merge together to form a stable ground they can stand and operate on. This probably sounds too good to be true, but security is not to be confused with perfection. People with a secure attachment style experience conflict and bad days just like any other couple. But what sets them apart is their higher emotional intelligence that helps them communicate their feelings effectively and their ability to problem solve rather than attacking their partners. Essentially, they're highly resilient individuals who understand how to move past obstacles with great care and self-awareness. Number two, anxious, preoccupied. People with an anxious, preoccupied attachment style tend to romanticize love because it's easier for them to form a fantasy bond with someone instead of something based off a reality. They are often attracted to partners they can save or, in some cases, those who can save them. People who have an anxious, preoccupied attachment style can be demanding, obsessive, and clingy. They're prone to overanalyzing situations, having mood swings, and often mistake turbulent relationships for passion. They can struggle from insecurities, low self-esteem, and establishing a strong sense of self because they grew up without healthy boundaries and little to no guidance on nurturing their individuality. Number three, dismissive avoidant. People with a dismissive avoidant attachment style tend to be emotionally distant in relationships. They come across as self-sufficient, independent, and can avoid true intimacy. Although space is essential for two people to breathe and be themselves in any relationship, People with a dismissive avoidant attachment style can seek it more frequently to push themselves away from being vulnerable with their partner. If at any point their partner threatens to leave them, they have the ability to shut their emotions down and pretend like they don't care. But extreme independence is an illusion because humans need connection in order to survive. As a result, people with an avoidant dismissive attachment style have very few close relationships with others. Number four, fearful avoidant. People with a fearful avoidant attachment style experience a delicate mixture, fearing being both too close or too distant from their lover. They can be unpredictable and are often overwhelmed by their own emotions. They understand they have to approach others in order to find love, but when people get too close to them, they often hurt them. 
They fear being abandoned, but struggle with being confident in their partner and relying on them. They face a lot of inner conflict between wanting intimacy and resisting it. As a result, they usually experience many highs and lows in relationships, cling to their partners when they feel rejected, and if not careful, can end up in abusive relationships. Similar to the dismissive avoidant attachment style, these individuals have very few close relationships with others. Accepting what your attachment style is and recognizing the work that comes with it can be life-changing and powerful. And we hope that this information can teach you to become more self-aware and help you become a better lover. Which attachment love style do you resonate with and how has it affected your relationships? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching. Original article at https psych2go.net forward slash the four attachment styles in love. Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!